back at this job, which I did about a month or so ago, <clears throat> and I, um, I'll do some more filming on that, I'll do some more talking, uh, as I'm working. I don't have a cameraman or lady with me today, so uh, I've got a little stand here that I'm gonna use. Um, yeah, so there's a few questions uh, that that's, uh, I, I wanna answer, and what I've just done is I've just cleaned all the frames with this duster, I'm now just swapping over my tools and I'm gonna actually now go clean uh, the windows. And I'll probably, I can't, I've probably yet remember what I've got to speak about now, but uh, hopefully it will come back to me while I'm working. And what I will use is a 18 inch on this job and uh, let's get to work. Right, so before I start working, I just wanted to show you what these windows look like uh, five weeks after cleaning them. Uh, we've got some bird muck, but nothing we can do about that. But let's look at the weather. We've had a load of rain in the last few weeks. Uh, and although you won't pick up much on the, the camera, these uh, windows are in very good condition, apart from the bird muck. So the reason why they're in good condition is because I'm using a saturated washer and I'm rubbing this soap in taking off the dirt um, much more efficiently and effectively and I remember many times people have been saying well when I apply the soap to the glass it doesn't rub in it doesn't rub in because you're not rubbing it in properly you've either not got a saturated washer or you're just not rubbing it in fully you've got to make sure that that gel is completely or that liquid is completely rubbed in and you only know it's rubbed in when the soap solution becomes nice and consistent like this Okay, so we're using a 22 inch washer. Put a bit more soap on here. I want to make sure that this bird muck is scraped off. Right, so I'm not going to work fast. I never work fast because the faster you work, the more mistakes you will make. All I'm going to do put my squeegee in the right place at the right time go down to the bottom that window's done just move that over here, I won't talk because you won't be able to hear me on the camera <coughs> I'm not going to film it, but I'm going to now dry up the frames and the seals. So good, and I'll look back in, saturated washer. Put 
all in the right place at the right time. I need to work fast. never any need to work fast. So again, now how I hold this tool is I want the best preciseness that I can get. So I'm not want to hold in my tool back here. Now there are some window cleaners who make tools suggest you work all the way back here. If you work back here, you've got less ability, less skill, less pressure, and you want to be close to the glass. I don't want to be making any mistakes. So I put, I like to hold, when I've got a, a bigger squeegee, I like to hold my handle uh, very close to the glass. And because I don't need to stretch, I don't need that length. So I hold my squeegee very, very close. The closer your hand is to the pane, the more accuracy you will get. So we've got some bird mock here, now that's gone. So everything, workflow, uh, very efficient, very effective. Uh, not wasting time, uh, not changing tools over, but we're not working fast. But we are working efficient and effective. Okay, so a common misconception is waterfed pole window cleaners always work quicker. Now there's many instances where waterfed pole window cleaners <coughs> will work quicker, especially hard to reach windows or um, you know, high up windows, you've got loads to do. But just imagine a waterfed pole cleaning this window being this instant. Because what I've got there is perfect results, instantaneous. And all I've got to do is wipe off the excess. Does anybody think that you could clean a, a water fed, with water fed pole in that amount of time and get good results?
what about all the other tools? Yeah. Uh, traditional tools to use to clean windows. I think what tool will be able to clean the windows that well, getting them results in that time. Just check the results. Okay, so that's my job done here. I, uh, I don't know what's more fun, doing the actual job or getting paid um, for having playtime. So, don't need these gloves on now. So that's what you gotta do. If you wanna earn more money in much less time, you need several things. Soap, good soap solution, good technique, and obviously good performing squeegee. And if you're lacking one or more of those, then unfortunately you're never, you're never gonna succeed um, in being um, the next level type window cleaner. So thanks for watching. I've answered some of these questions that um, I haven't answered in previous videos and uh, we'll do some more investigating on some more uh, buildings on the quality of the windows because there's two two tasks you need to do you need to be good at your job get perfect results but getting perfect results takes time um yeah the more effort you put in the longer it will take but actually i work a lot less harder than most window cleaners in fact all window cleaners um pretty much who work standard i don't work as hard as them i work less hard and i get more work done and high quality that that to me is the perfect scenario for working